But we begin with that massive explosion in Sterling, Virginia. It happened on Silver Ridge Drive, just a few blocks from Seneca Ridge Middle School. Our Katie Glusso just got an update from the fire department. But first, my co-anchor Lorenzo Hall is leading us off tonight from the scene with some very sad news. So. Yeah, Les, this is certainly not the news you want on a Friday night at all, actually. We just heard from the uh, assistant Loudoun County Fire Chief a short time ago, James Williams, and he's confirming that one firefighter did die because of this, what you're looking at right here, a home. It is just gone. Think about that. On a Friday night, a lot of folks heading into the holiday weekend, there was a reported gas leak in the area. Firefighters responded to check it out. And then just moments later, the home exploded. And you can see right there just nothing left. Debris is just everywhere in the trees on top of cars. And now the assistant fire chief here in Loudoun County confirming again that one firefighter did die uh, after this explosion. Nine firefighters are injured. Two civilians are also injured. All of these people transported uh, to the hospital after this explosion. But you're looking at some of our images earlier, uh, I believe from Sky 9. And again, just imagine right there was a large family home and now there is nothing. Uh, a lot of people on this scene tonight responding here, multiple jurisdictions. You have, uh, again, Loudoun County Fire, Fairfax County Fire, uh, the ATF here on scene as well. I spoke with a gentleman who lives in this home behind me. He says he was asleep at around 820 tonight and he heard a loud explosion. He had no idea what was going on. Uh, and then he said that he's uh, he's still shaken up. I talked with him roughly an hour ago. And he said he's just traumatized by this because he did not know what was happening and he walked out of his door and you can see some of this right here. We're just yards away from that home and you can see the insulation is still just blown throughout this neighborhood. Debris pretty much everywhere. Everyone in shock, not knowing uh, what was going on. But here on scene, uh, it is eerily quiet. There was a lot of smoke a little earlier. It has since subsided, but fire investigators are just going through that scene just trying to figure out how this started. Uh, it, that will be key to their investigation. Now, as I mentioned before, there are a lot of people in this neighborhood who are just trying to figure out what's happening. They saw the smoke from miles away. They felt their homes rattling from miles away. They headed to this scene. My colleague, Katie Lesso, spoke with some of them a short time ago as well. And Katie, what are they telling you? 